let's get started with cooking. First thing I'm going to do is take the oven, put it on high. Whatever oven you have, just put it on high, put it at the highest setting. You might have some numbers, doesn't matter. The highest setting because we're not going to always cook it on high. We're going to keep it medium, then we're going to make it low. The reason we want to start it at, on high is because we want the stove to get warm really fast. That's the only reason for those of you who've never cooked before. <laughs> I know it's, it's weird. I, I used to think the same way. So I'm walking you through the very, very basics because I understand where you're coming from. If you've never cooked before, don't worry. We were all in the same boat. The first time I cooked was also very recently, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, when I started this testosterone stuff and, and boosting testosterone, I learned how to cook my own stuff because I didn't trust all the different hotels and restaurants and, and all this uh, shit that they have in the neighborhood in any city you go to. So uh, the other reason I started cooking is because we save a lot of money, man. You, you save a lot of money because restaurants charge you a lot for the, the shitty food that they give you and you don't know how what oil they use you don't know how, where their meat comes from their vegetables come from you don't even know if they wash stuff properly so that's the problem with restaurants uh the other thing is you save time because we're doing meal prep for six days you don't need to go 15 minutes to drive to a, a restaurant or go somewhere walk somewhere you have it right now you open up your fridge you put it in this in the toaster you warm it up and you eat it and you're done so now this, this thing is uh, getting warm because, because the fish is already, olive oil is already on it a little bit. We already have the spice on it. I'm going to put it on the oven and I'm going to wait for it to be ready. Take the fish just like that. Put it on. Next one, put it on. And the third one. Now you're going to see how this skin comes off so easily in this salmon. And we have some more olive oil left, don't worry. And then the spices that are remaining, just take a, a simple spoon right here and just put them on, just put them on the actual fish so you don't waste any of it. Okay, and you just wait now. And look, man, another thing I want you to, to understand is this. Cooking is unbelievable for a guy. If you can cook, I remember we, I was in New York City. We were talking to, uh, before I went to New York City, we were talking to one of our friends, Tanya, who, who lives in our building too. She was telling us that in New York City, people don't just hang out and like, oh, let's chill at my place or let's do this. None of this shit happens. But if you tell a girl, hey, I'm going to cook, come over. We're going to cook together or I've cooked something for you. The girl will come even in a crazy ass place like New York City. So you having that ability to cook, that ability to do Facebook lives with your friends like we do and the ability to call people over so you can enjoy a, a, a bonding through a meal. Such an amazing, amazing skill that you have that we are teaching you here. OK, so now you'll notice that some of the, the oil is, is is doing its thing. Take. You want to take something like a, a, a spoon. You can take something that is a little bit more safe like this. Okay, something, this type of thing. You want to take this and you want to flip the fish every now and then. Spatula, yeah, that's what it's called, a spatula. We flip it to the other side. You're going to see how fast this fish cooks. It's going to be in no time, so fast. It's the fastest meat ever. Right here. Now, if it starts getting stuck at all, it's just because it needs more oil. Simple as that. So you take your oil, olive oil we have here, Take it like this, and you just put it around the fish. Around the fish, just like that. And the stove is going to use that oil to cook the fish. That's it. Now let it rip. And again, this because of the instability of the olive oil, it might evaporate or it might... Uh, break down fast it's okay we have a lot so just be ready to use a lot of olive, olive oil if you need to and just stand here and just be cooking again remember it's on high right now and so what i'm going to do is now that the oven is is warm it's, it's doing its thing from high i'm going to put it to seven so high is nine 
Lowest is 1, so I just went from 9 to 7, or high to 7. And now you'll see that the salmon, the other side is the actual cook side. And now look, look at this skin. Look how easy it's going to come up. Look at this, beautiful. And this is the same thing we're doing with the sweet potatoes that are being cooked. Right? The sweet potatoes, because they are now warm, getting warmer and warmer, it's just going to easily melt. It's, it's going to, not melt, it's going to easily be able to uh, uh, cut open. And then all this nasty skin. Ah, there's a little bit here, a fish. Yeah. Taste to see how it tastes already. It's already almost cooked. I mean, it's unbelievable, but the outside of it, it's already cooked. The inside is what's tricky. And it's really good. Wow. Okay. And all this extra skin that you have, you just toss it. Look, man, no judgment. If you're somebody who likes the skin, eat it. Um, I don't recommend eating it. It's, I don't think that there's any nutrients in, in, this, in this skin of the fish. But, I don't know, if you've been eating it for your whole life and you're, you like it, do it. I don't recommend it. So now, salmon. You'll notice that the inside of the salmon, is. see how, it red, see how it's red? That means it's just not done yet. So you just keep doing your thing. You keep switching it up, switching it around. Right? Now the salmon is, is more substance. There's more stuff going on with the salmon. It needs more oil. Take a little bit of oil. Put it like that. And, and this oil is never going to go to waste. Don't worry. Whatever you're going to cook next, you're gonna, we're going to have the sweet potato. We're going to put in this to fry it, to, to make it nice and really, really taste good, uh, which is great. So don't worry about the extra oil at all. Totally fine. Okay. So the way you check to determine whether the fish is done, you take a knife and you poke it. So check this out. Boom. See, it doesn't easily break. It takes some time. But look, now it broke. And look, it's white. You see how amazingly white it is? It's done. That's it. Caught is that fast. Look at this. Holy shit, look how amazingly white this is. It's just brilliant. Right? So this is done. Okay? It's white. That's how you know. So, quite simply, you take your plate, put it on the side, and whatever is done, put it in the plate. Done, you put it in the plate. Done, plate. And play. Now sometimes, look, oh, some of some it fell. And you can taste a bit of it. Mmm, so done. Okay, so I just tasted it. It's done, but it's not completely done. It's okay, put it back. It's just not mushy enough. It's done, like it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's also your taste, right? I like to have it really mushy and really well cooked instead of like crispy. Right now, it's a bit crispy. So I put it back. And look, you have to look at this based on your intuition. Don't be like, oh, how long do you keep it in there for? How many minutes? How many seconds? I don't fucking know, man. Depends on how big your fish is. Depends on how high your temperature is. Depends on how old your stove is. Some stoves are, are old, so it, you know they take longer to cook. It's that simple. So if you notice, I, I put it back. And I'm going to show you something really interesting with the salmon now. To, to show you if it's cooked or not. Yeah, so I put this back. Let's cook this a bit more. No problem. I'm going to put some more oil in there. Let it be. Just like that. See, you notice how much olive oil I have to put in? That's it. It's because it just fucking runs out. So what you, you'll see when you put coconut oil or, or butter how much better it is. So now check this out. Now you, well now we're going to check the salmon. So you take your knife, you poke it. Okay, and now look. You see how red it is? You see still red? That means it's not cooked. That's, that's the test of salmon. That redness here. It's just not cooked, no problem. Keep going. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the oven back to 8 because it's taking too long. So let's make it 8. From 9 to 7, now it's 8. And and you see I'm, I'm putting the fish to the side of where the oil resides. So it cooks faster. Okay? You want the inside to be white. Take a little... Take a little bite of this to see how it tastes. Mmm, my God. So good.